Today, it's all about Lange Le Duo, the 360 Airflow Styler, and we have some dupes. Quick review of the Le Duo Lange 360 Airflow Styler. It retails for $89.99. They also have the grande size, which is good for my hair length or even longer, but this one is phenomenal for short hair. So what this is, is it has titanium plates. It's a two-in-one styler, so you can use it as a flat iron or you can use it as a curling iron with this clip. But what makes it unique is the cool airflow that you can turn on while you style your hair so that way it locks your hairstyle in place to help extend the longevity and also gives you extra shine. Let's talk about the dupes. So the first dupe is from Tymo and this honestly let's look at it. It's almost identical. Five heat settings, you have the airflow. The only difference, ceramic plates. Tymo Cool Air Styler comes in at $59.99. And last but not least, for the La Duo dupes, we have two Con Airs. This one right here. I know they upgraded the packaging. It's more gold instead of the rose gold, but it's the exact same. It has low, medium, high heat setting, has the fan and the one thing, the difference difference about the Conair in comparison to the Ladua or the Timo, the release, when the plates are opened, it's very small. And also ceramic coated, as well as this one right here. The, I think they call it the Lux Pro Cool Air Styler. And the difference here is you have four heat settings instead of the original, only has three. But also this comes with ceramic coated plates and both are under $80 or around 80. The Pro Deluxe is $79.99 and then the Conair is $59.99. Lounge on left, Timo on right, or the dupes on the right side. Just clamping it down, twist, and just slowly drag. There we go. And again, this is at 360 degrees Fahrenheit. It doesn't feel hot. Let's see, Timo. I'm gonna do the exact same as I would as when I would use a flat iron. Well, this one's tighter, okay. It's smooth, but it's tighter. The plates, they're a lot tighter together versus the duo. It's a little bit further apart, so it's not as tight around your section of hair. Twist all the way. Hmm, you want the big section. That was not bad. Yeah, those plates are tight. You gotta be careful. Oh boy. All right, for the Lange, the La Duo, the plates are very smooth. There's no tugging, there's no pulling. Felt very easy to use. I like the swivel cord, it's very smooth. The swivel cord on the Timo, it's a little uh, sticky. It's not as smooth and easy to control in comparison to the Lange. The Timo, it's, the plates are a little too tight for my liking, but the results are similar enough. And I think this next section will try the Con Air in comparison to the launch. Okay, so let's start with the Con Air on the right side for the dupe. And this one has low, medium, and high temperature setting. The highest temperature is 400 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm not exactly sure what the medium is, but I like to stick to medium or high on this. And also you can turn the fan on or off. But the difference with this, the fan is right inside right here. It's not coming, because there's no vents. It's coming from right here. My biggest thing was the release. So tight but this is the same thing the swivel cord is so nice and smooth but you see like that is so smooth Ooh, I think Conair is actually a little more smooth And I'll sometimes help at the very end unclip it, so that way the ends don't get stuck in between the plates. Okay, last but not least, we're gonna do the Conair, the Luxe. And this one, 
it does have the air vents coming through. So 355 with the fan. Nice swivel cord. It's smooth. Just guiding the hair through. That was a fail. Go a little bit slower. No. Oh, this is not good. All right, I'm gonna go to 400 degrees Fahrenheit because the 355 is not giving it to me. I think if you're taking really thick sections with Le Duo, the smaller one, you do have to kind of open up the plates so that the, the hair doesn't feel or get stuck. So it does have limitations on how thick of a section you're grabbing. It's better. That was good. Not my favorite part. <laughs> We're going to brush out the curls. Mmm. So good. <laughs> Let's do this side. Same head of hair, but completely different results. I mean, you can even see in the front how shiny Lange is, mm -hmm. La Duo versus the dupe side. Hair is not so shiny. So a couple of things with the Lange La Duo. So overall, I think the titanium plates are definitely a key part in creating or resulting with really sleek, shiny hair, which we can definitely see a difference with the shiny hair. The next thing I really, really liked about this was the clip or the plates, they're not extremely tight together. So it was a lot easier on myself and on my hair to not pull and tug my hair and I don't really even have to use the clip unless I used a thicker section, not a wider, but a thicker section. And I did have to open up the clip just a tad, I had to press on the clip just to open up the plates a little bit to have not as much uh, resistance <laughs> on the hair. And also the swivel cord is really nice. I think it's the quietest out of, out of all of them besides this Conair one. I do appreciate the heat settings. You go as low as 280 degrees Fahrenheit and up to 430 degrees Fahrenheit, but it's also the most expensive coming in at around 90 US dollars or 89.99. Okay, moving on to Tymo. I think Tymo was my least favorite cool air styler. Why? The plates are way too tight together, so you do have to you have to press and hold the clip to keep the plates open just a tad for the hair to to slide easier so that way you're not tugging your hair but also the plates themselves they're not very smooth on the hair they don't go through your hair like butter there's quite a bit of resistance so you do have to keep the plates open and it was not my favorite when it comes to swivel cord and it's very sticky in comparison to all of the other hair tools it also comes in at 59.99 but it's a similar or same price point as the conair so if i were to steer you in the direction between the dupes, I would steer you towards the Con Air for the similar or the same price point. Moving on <laughs> to the Con Air. This again, like I said, this is the older body, the original body, they have the newer one, but it's the same settings. We have the low, medium, and high. I checked the booklet and the medium heat setting is around 356 degrees Fahrenheit and the lowest is 320. So still hotter than the Lange, but like I said, for my hair type, I usually stick between medium or high depending on how my hair is or what state is that. The air is coming from right here all the way around instead of through the air vents. This doesn't have any air vents. It's coming through all the way around. And it's also very smooth on the hair. The plates, they're not really tight together. But again, with every single one of these, you do have to guide the hair through even the Tymo, even though it's very tight, you still have to help guide the hair through because it can fall out towards the end. My only caveat with this hair tool is how small the plates are when you press on the release button. And this is the only one that has a release button, which honestly, you just have to use it when you open it, <laughs> slide your hair through, and that's it. Otherwise, you can just let it go or even release it at the very end if you want to, depending on your hair type. Swivel cord is very nice, very smooth. It doesn't have as much of resistance, but the results, they're not as smooth and shiny in comparison to the Lange Le Duo. This had the most amount of airflow coming through. So 
And then last but not least, we have the Conair, the Pro, also the Cool Air Styler, but this is like the luxe, the luxe version where you do have the clip and the air vents are right here. It's not like the original where the air is coming from down up around the, the plates. And this also has four heat settings instead of the three with the Conair Hot Air Styler or the Cool Air Styler. The lowest heat setting is 285 and the highest is 400 degrees Fahrenheit. The release, the clip, it's really nice, comfortable to use just like the launch. Alrighty, all in all, I will say, if you're trying to look into this type of a cool air styler, like a curling iron, a flat iron one, out of all of these, all of these dupes, I would suggest the this one right here, the Conair. The Conair cold air styler, it does the job. It's $59.99. A lot of times I see it's on sale on Amazon or Ulta, but I like like it. I think it's great. It's heavier, but it's pretty easy to use. I will say that. If you're still looking for the the Lange Le Duo versus other ones, I do think this has a little bit of a higher of a higher edge just because of the titanium plates. And again, everything about it, it works. It works great. Let's do a quick little wear test. I'll see you guys at the end of the day. It is the end of the night and this is what we're looking like. It's at least 10 to 11 hours later since I did my hair. Lange Le Duo, Le Duo dupes. I think they're similar enough, but on the launch side, the Le Duo side, it looks a little bit more uniform. The curls, and then this side, you can see there's not as much, kind of like at the very top of the head to like half, like mid to my ch uh, chin. So there's still a little bit more wave on the Le Duo side, but all in all, very, very similar. Yeah, you can see there's a little bit more bend happening here. But there you have it. You still have something at the very end of the night with the dupes, the cold air stylers as well. So it just depends at the end of the day kind of what kind of experience you want when you're styling your hair. But like I said, again, I'm gonna reiterate, I think Conair, the the $59.99 styler, the cold air styler is the closest to the launch Le Duo 360 Airflow styler. That makes sense. Even though the Tymo even has the same name, Airflow styler, and it looks almost identical, it does not perform as good as launch. Hope you guys enjoyed this launch 360 Airflow styler review, the dupes and the results, and I'll see you guys in the next one.